William Heath Robinson was one of the most popular and successful of British artists throughout the first half of the 20th century. By the time he was 60, Heath Robinson was widely known as the Gadget King, due to the fantastic and absurdly eccentric machinery he featured in so many of his drawings and designs. Keith Robinson was also greatly loved for the unique children's books he both wrote and illustrated, the epic Bill the Minder and the enchanting Adventures of Uncle Lubin. Uncle Lubin hardly hinted at the risque nature of his next book project, The Scandalous Rabelais or indeed many of the other mature literary subjects he was to tackle. Heath Robinson's illustrations were soon to be regularly published in many of the most popular weekly periodicals and magazines of the time, where his reputation as a creator of absurd mechanical insanity, an observer of extreme human eccentricity, became legendary. Yet Heath Robinson's humorous work was not the only artistic genius he portrayed. He provided the world a versatile yet accomplished body of serious work that was the equal to that of the most respected European artists of the time. With a classical style and a beautifully accomplished illustrative technique, Heath Robinson became a unique public icon until his death in 1944. William Heath Robinson lived and produced much of his most important work in Pinner, Middlesex, from 1908 to 1918. In honour of this, the Pinner Association, the William Heath Robinson Trust and the Charity Commission have joined forces to create a permanent museum in his name at the attractive West House in the town of Pinner. To raise the $350,000 required to restore West House and install this permanent tribute to a unique and much-loved artist, a rare and extensive travelling exhibition is planned, the main purpose of which is to gain publicity for the museum and its associated fundraising work. The representatives of the Heath Robinson Trust therefore invite you to consider this unique and extraordinary exhibition as part of your future programme for 2005. It will unquestionably provide the most unique, imaginative and quaintly English exhibition ever to visit a West Coast gallery and will undoubtedly prove a much talked about successful event for many years to come.